Check out this caddy coming in right now. That's in sweet shape. And El Camino. Very nice. So, welcome back to Novato Cars and Coffee. This is the ninth anniversary of this event. And I got here a little earlier today, um, so I could see a little more action and see all the cars come in. As you can see, the sky is screaming now. It's about 10 minutes to 7 a.m. You got to get here early if you got a show car and you want a good spot. As you can see here it's already starting to fill up this whole lot will be full of cars by the time um, I would say within a half an hour filled up filled up filled up so let's go um, enjoy this car festival in Novato um, cars and coffee ninth anniversary there should be some special cars coming today all right thanks for coming along All right, she's gonna fire it up. It'll warm, well. Ah. That sounds so awesome. Oh my God. The hair just stood up on my arm. Listen to that all day. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's over my ears. Five uh. bucks. <laughs> they were out of transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Man, so that thing sounded nice. You gear it up a little, but then you'd be a little slower in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck a header. Just got a black pack. Sounded Guys, so good. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why it sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> this thing must sound awesome on the freeway, huh? It does. It's like, wah! <laughs> yeah. You get the cherry ball, the glass pack. You get right underneath your seat, too. Oh. Wow, this is my friend's car. Uh, Charlie. She's had it for... How long have you had the car? 30 years. 30? She's had it 30 years. That's amazing. I know, and you got yours and you're 16, that's unbelievable. Yeah, I searched a year for mine. I searched a year for mine. Yeah. I just all around my dad wanted me to buy a new one. Wow. What year do you think it is? This or this? I don't know. TC, that's pretty old. 47? Might be in the 40s. Jeter. Wow. This thing's sweet. Cool. Can't tell what year. It looks all. I know you did not so much. Kind of looks original, huh? The paint. Freaking nice car. Yeah. You don't see many of these around anymore. Oh no. Look at the gas tank. You don't want to get rear-ended either. <laughs> gas tank's right there. Right back there where it can be hit. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, that is pretty. That's an awesome MG. Any of you guys know the year? Let me know. Every 5,000 miles, wash and thoroughly change the oil. Something.
bikes that they wouldn't uh, bang. Check out this uh, Ford. And this a Morgan. This was here last time. This is a beautiful Morgan. It's got a. Um, uh, what, am I, what am I trying to say? The engine, the Italian motor. There's another El Camino. Nice 60s vet, new Corvette. Yeah, Cobra. Shelby. It's even got Carol Shelby signed it. This must be an original. If this is an authentic Shelby, this is a very valuable car. They're worth like a million dollars. Look at this coming up. Look at this. Yeah, that's so awesome. Got Carol Shelby signed it, so this ain't no. Um, Official licensed product. I don't know, it might be the South African one. Did a great job on it. This is a 2020. God damn, that's a nice car. He's so nonchalant. Wow, this is beautiful. It's a twin turbo V8. I think they have 620 horse. I thought you said he had a V12. Maybe, oh, you know what? I bet that's his yeah, car. I think so. You have good ears. Check out this Carrera GT. Carbon fiber brakes. This car is an animal to drive. Unfortunately, this car, a lot of people have lost their lives in because they're insanely fast and sketchy. Um, you know, one of the guys in the Fast and Furious, uh, Paul Walker, he unfortunately perished in one of these cars. And then check out this Ferrari. This is sweet. Look at the size of the brakes on this thing. Huge carbon fiber. We met the owner of the car at Starbucks. I love that rear end. This thing's very nice. GT350 in a bathtub Porsche. That's really That's nice. Beautiful. That is absolutely yeah. Beautiful. Super nice. 356. Wow. What a great car this is. Beautiful, man. It's like a work of art. Work of art. Very nice. I uh, gotta love the line. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, the Ford? What we got here? Another Ford? This T Bird's really nice too. It's got the parade things, tilted wheel. You know, these things have power windows, power brakes in the early 60s, which is very unusual. It's 
So they opened up this uh, Thunderbird. Look at the original hardtop motors and contraptions. Tilt steering wheel. Three ninety. And they got the plaque that says, sorry, officer. I thought you wanted to race. That's pretty fun. Actually. And this uh, 59 El Camino is gorgeous. Look at the back, a rounded window. Pin striping. MG Midget. I got that uh, Going back to my friend's El Camino. What is this? Chrysler? Chrysler 300? Wow, that's clean. The paint's like your paint. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this store. Look at the front end on this thing. Wow. Beautiful. Well, I think, I mean, I just like the amount of man hours that went into that is amazing. Wow. It's like spotless. That's beautiful, that car. Yeah, it's really nice. This Riviera is pretty cool too. Yeah. Look at this truck. Six wheeler. Wow, it's an old classic. Cab over in Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh gosh, this is incredible. General Motors. That's really cool. Retro. Sorry. Look at the tail lights on this guy. <laughs> Feature. Wow, look at that. Is that on Paul? I think it's in what is it? I think it's oh, Imperial. Imperial. Look at this steering wheel. And the dash on this thing. Jesus. Christ. Look at the dash on that. That's awesome. Yes. That's so weird. I know. That's it. That's when space was really popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a spaceship. Got a record player in it. Oh, it's got a Nixon. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, that is outrageous. Jan and Dean, Drag City. 45 down there. I love it. 55 convertible. Beautiful. That's a beautiful car too. GTX, you don't see many of these on too. Forty-six barrel. Got to hurt me. <laughs> Beautiful. This car's sweet. Plymouth GTX. <clears throat> Very nice. Four on the floor. Here's another El Camino. It's got air conditioning. <laughs> it's got AC. <laughs> Something you need. This T 
2002. I wonder if this is a TII. This thing's sweet too. That's a clean 2002. Look at this uh, Hummer. <laughs> yeah. This is a clean BMW. It's either a 1600 or actually the bad set 2002. Very nice. Beautiful 2002. Yeah, it is. This thing's funny. It's got the bolts everywhere. <laughs> Looks like something um, someone from the Avengers would drive. This looks like something from the Avengers would drive, right? Yeah. Iron Man or something. <laughs> this is a pretty wild Hummer, I'll tell you. Oh. Another nice one. Clean. Debadged. Here's a Ferrari row. This guy's got his engine thing open. Very nice. 488 GTB. How'd you like to have to work on that car? Too. Hey, did you guys see the CGT? Traditional. Over? There's a CGT and an H12 over in that corner. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. This is beautiful. It's my dream car here. One day, one day. I would die. Personalization specifications. is really nice too. All you have that's not electronic is the tack. That's all you need. How you doing? Thanks. Is this yours? No, that one's me. Really? This is a brand new one, huh? I'm not that cool. No? <laughs> no, this one's mine. That's beautiful. I love those wheels. Thank you. Thank you. Really a lot of math to find a fit. Yeah, it really makes it pop. When I got the GT3, oh which bet. is a 996, yeah. you know, it's a whole different level, and it actually wasn't quite as much fun because it was a little scarier. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. 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 point? Yeah, all of them. I go for a nice time trial. I used to work with <laughs> Ford. I said, sign me up for a naturally aspirated Ford. What size are these tires? I mean, nice black 22s or something? Oh my god, this tire's a 30. <laughs> you see the size of these? a 30 inch rear wheels. That's insane. <laughs> That's one track day. One track weekend right there. Yeah. For one tire. Those tires are probably a thousand bucks a pop or something. Yeah, I can't just, just pick them in the car. Wow. This is beautiful. I know. I know. Audi's good at shoehorning motors into places. Uh, that's a new motor I just put in. Oh, really? Yeah. My buddy blew it up. Oh, no way. Over redlined or what? I don't know what he did, but I took the engine apart. 
Like, you loaned it to him? Or? I loaned it to him. He, oh. made it, he made it 37 miles before blowing it up. So uh. this just got installed a month ago. So I painted it all. And, uh, it's a good job. Beautiful. Yeah. Unfortunately, a rock came up and knocked off his... Oh, uh, shit. Right there. Boom. Oh, God. Are you serious? I have the worst luck with that. This is the loaded one with the Sparco interior. So everything's carbon fiber. The whole back of the seats are carbon fiber. Oh, I know all about Sparco. I used, years ago, I used to... Sell Sparco. I've driven this and it is a uh, suicidal. Really? Oh, it's like an Italian Mustang. Yeah, what, it's just what's rear it? end. Is it all? Uh, it's a, a, no, it's a six-cylinder twin turbo. Oh. it's fast. Five oh five out the door. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's a fast. <laughs> suicidal, huh? <laughs> I would call it suicidal. <laughs> Not like mine. Not all. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, it's a great car. Yeah, this car in the rain would be a little scary. I've driven it in the rain. <laughs> Have you? Yeah, <laughs> going, Mama. <laughs> in the car. New Supra. Supra BMW. Oh, wow, that's wild. These are the new Toyota Supras. No, they're you want, to, you want to know a twist? Who do you think, who do you think made the motor in this car? Clearly. It'll blow your mind. There's a new Ford Bronco here. Yeah, Vinny Pink. I actually have the Okay. Things like are painted the same map size. Same map color as the Mexican on their side. They're really cool. I know they're really cool. Brand new, huh? <laughs> yeah. It looks like. <laughs> Brand new Ford Bronco. Giving Jeep a run for the money. I like the hold on handles and the, look at that dial up suspension. What's that? First edition? Yeah, yeah. Tell him, if you see anyone, tell them I'm stuck here. Bye. Check out this SS. Nice. That is clean. I don't know what this is. Should be a 69. I like the 69. There's a goat. There's a nice goat. There's a nice rat rod here. It's a massive engine in it. That's pretty cool. You know, and he's got a old style uh, horn. Check this out. There's a clean 510, probably a 69, 70. L16 motor with Weber's in it. These cars were a big deal when they came out because they were very light and they had rear independent suspension so you could get them to handle extremely well. Old Poles Cutlass. There's a Ferrari, I think it's a 308, yeah, 308. This is a, if you want to buy a Ferrari, this is probably the cheapest one you're going to be able to get. But also the most expensive to maintain. You got to change the belts on those things every 10,000 miles. Crazy. F85. RS6 Audi station wagon grocery getter. This car is a rocket ship. Look at the size of the rear wheels there. Okay. Massive, uh, massive brakes, carbon fiber. Stop on a dime. Look at a turbo in this thing. A massive turbo on this Mercedes motor. That's huge. 
That's pretty cool, actually. It's a clean Mercedes. The Beamer. Air suspension. There's an old Capri there. Look at the dashboard, it's all digital. That's pretty cool. Total digital. There's Chevy in it. LSX. I bet this thing is fast as hell. A slam charger, Hellcat. Firebird. That's about a, I don't know, 89, 90. It's an old STI. I used to have this car. 04 STI. You're asking yourself, why did you sell it? Well, it had 183,000 miles on it. And all the experts told me that I'm going to need an engine rebuild. And um, engine for this car is about 10 grand. So I decided to sell it. I had it for 10 years though. This looks like an 06, so as the front end's a little different. I had the first gen. Mustang. Another BMW. There's another car I used to have, a 240Z. Now, this is a car I regret selling. Smooth it past white. Originally, yes, when you first had it. I did that once. Automatic. Listen to this thing. Kind of a strange sound that thing makes. It's a nice Evo. Those things are rocket ships. Nice caddy here. Another caddy driving by. Another fast. Very fast caddy light. Mustang 70s coming in. A lot of people are just like driving their cars around, which is kind of cool. You can hear them. Except for the Honda, nice and quiet. It's clean, but it's not a lot of noise coming out of that car. Oh, wait, I heard a little noise. These guys over here just leave the little LED lights on. That's Camaro there. There's a Gull Wing. This car was out here in my last event. So beautiful. Beautiful Gull Wing. Original. So, you don't want to know how much those cars are going for these days. Original SL. It's about a million dollar car right now. Alright, over here we got Corvette Row. Corvette. Here's a new Corvette. Here's a 78 or 76. Can I get the square steering wheels on? Got a 
Mustang is an old RX-7 first gen. Rotary engine RS7. Fun cars. Until the seals go out. For those of you who don't know about a rotary engine, look it up. They're a triangle that spins inside the chamber. And the tips of the triangle hold the compression and they go out a lot in those cars unless you fix them. Some people are leaving or reshuffling. Fair lane. Corvette coming in. Sounded nice. Horse Spider. Cobra. It's another Cobra. Caddy. Look at this Viper. V10 Beast. That's a nice fast Viper. It says a license plate. Beautiful lines in that car. Check out this purple and white combo here. Cool. Here's a TR6. Those are cool. Anyway, I got sidetracked. Purple and white four is pretty clean. Beautiful car. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I think these have twin turbo V8s in them. Yep. Weeks. <laughs> well, with all the rain, you know. I know it's gonna rain tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Where did you drive from? Uh, Larkspur. Oh, great. How about you guys? I came from Winters, near Davis. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah nice. Wait, it's out. It's north, right? Kind of by Thunder Hill. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, reckon I, I think it's like a kit car. Huh. <laughs> that flips on. Independent. Oh. It's a Subaru conversion. Unless you own a Subaru, then you know the Yeah, 07 Outback Wagon Turbo. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Edition here, the flat black. Supercharged. That's a 
Mazda RX-7, third generation. see many of these Grand Nationals around anymore. That's for sure. Kind of quite a collector's item. So these are 3.8 turbos. And they're quite fast. South Dakota plates on it. The smell, the feel, the rumble, the vibration, just everything. Awesome. So, thanks for coming along today at Cars and Coffee. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That was awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. All right. Bye, guys.